let's grab our basic instructions before leaving Earth, and let's see what the Creator, Father God, has in store for us today. We are in Zechariah 11, and we're going to finish this book up tonight. Here we go on. I can't wait to get to the New Testament. Alright, 11. Open thy doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour thy cedars. How for fir trees, for the cedar is fallen, because the mighty are spoiled. How, O you oaks, abation, for the forest of the village is come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is full. A voice of roaring of a young lion, for the prince of Jordan is spoiled. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose passengers slay them, and hold himself not guilty. And they that sell them say, Please. I say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherd pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But lo, I will deliver the men every one into his neighbor's hand, and into the hands of his king. And they shall smite the land, and out of their own hand I will not deliver them. Are you hearing this? God's not going to deliver nobody out of what's coming up. No. I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I will take. Uh, and I took me two staves. The one I call beauty, and the other I call bands. And I fed the flocks. These shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their soul also abhorred me. Then said I, I will not feed you that that uh, see, that that dieth, let it die, and that is to be cut off. Let it be cut off, and let the rest eat every one the flesh of another. And I took my staff, even beauty, and I cut it asunder, that I might break my covenant, which I had made with all the people. Now, he ain't leaving nobody out. He says all the people. And it, sh see, and it was broken in that day. And so the poor of the flock that wanted a, waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. Now, if you know the Lord, you know his, he's going to leave you. He's going to break away from all the sin and not be around it. And I said unto them, If you think good, give me my price. And if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price 30 pieces of silver. Now this is talking about Christ going to the cross. Alright. And the Lord said unto me, Cast it into the potter a goodly price that I was praised at all of them. And I took the 30 pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Now this this is talking about um, Judas. He when when he threw that money back at them, and I'll, he was in the house of the Lord. Right here it tells you. All right. Then I cut asunder my other staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of the foolish shepherd. For lo, I will rise up a shepherd in the land, which shall not visit those that be cut off, neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, 
nor feed that that standeth still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat, and tear their claws in pieces. Woe unto the idle shepherd that load the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. Which eye do they cover up? His arms shall be clean, clean dry, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Okay, number 12. The burden of the word of the Lord for Isaiah, saith the Lord, which stretches forth the heavens and layeth the foundations of the earth and form the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people around about when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. See, people are, going to, are against what's going on. There's more out here than... Anyway. In the day of safety, Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness and I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah and I will smite every horse of the people with blindness and the governors of Judah shall slay in their heart so shall say in their heart the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength saith the Lord of hosts their God in that day will I make the governors of Judah like an heart, a heath of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in a shelf. And they shall devour all the people around about on the right hand and on the left. And Judah uh, see, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place even in Jerusalem. And the Lord also shall have, as he shall save the tent of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, and the angel of the, the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day, that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem, and I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. So, now this is one of the second coming of Christ. They will see what they done. Alright, let's keep on going. In that day shall there be a great morning in Jerusalem as the morning of had a demion in the valley of Megiddo and the land shall mourn every family apart the family of the house of David apart and their wives apart the family of the house of Nathan apart and their wives apart the family of the house of Levi apart and their wives apart the family of Shimei apart, and their wives apart. And the family that remain, every family apart, and their wives apart. Okay, we are done with number 12. And we will look at 13 and 14 tomorrow night. And <clears throat> I hope you all have a blessed night. And... Hugs and kisses to you all. 
How to donate to PayPal. You mash on poor man sewing and then you come up here and you look for a belt and you mash on a belt and right here you hit on donate to poor man sewing. It's people like you that help me out and it is really appreciated and I hope you many blessings in this hard times that we are fixing to go through. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.